Hi, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using this stamp set, Happiest of Birthdays. I got this last month and I haven't used Look, I haven't even put the stickers on the box yet. I have to do that soon. So yes, that is what I'm using today. And I'm going to be using this big one, Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. I'm also going to be using tree rings background stamp. I haven't used this. Oh, I don't know the last time I used this. Well, I did the other day, but before that, I haven't used that for ages. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The flowers have come from these dies. Um, Blossoming, blossoms in bloom and bloom uh, dies and they're these little individual ones here I was playing with them and I cut loads out so I decided to make this card in fact I've already cut these out because I cut about 10 out I think where are they all yeah, so I've got another 5 here use when we've done the stamping and stuck it all down. I'm also going to use the leaf punch. I used scraps of pear pizzazz on, pear, pear pizzazz on this one but this one because I've got I haven't got any big enough scraps left I'm going to use this scrap of old olive. I think it'll be all right. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half. I've got a piece of, which I haven't used for ages as well, Costa Cabana uh, at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a rectangle stitched cut out at two and a quarter by four and one eighth. Oh yes, two and a quarter by four and one eighth and that will go in the middle. I'm also going to use on the background of this one for the rings. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, another one I haven't used for such a long time. That's why it's still an old set, old stamp. Bad. So let me just go and batter my husband, snoring away pretty loudly. So yeah, let's get started. Let's do some stamping. I'll stamp the background first so peel that off the box and put it down there and ink it up. And you know, I'm quite surprised there's still ink in it. But then it is an old ink pad. I think the new ink pads dry up pretty quick. So place that down. Get my scrap of paper and rub it all over. And lift it up. And that's what we've got, the nice ring background. A little bit of um, what is this? Baby wipe. Making a right mess on me cloth, uh, paper. I won't put it in the box because it needs cleaning properly. Get rid of that. That's that done. Bring this in. Bring our stamp in. And no, I don't want memento, I want the other one. There's the fine. up. 
really well. Right, and that goes this way. And place that down like that. me getting covered in ink. Mm, nice. And that will go on top of there with our flowers on top. This is such a, I'm going to keep saying this, quick and easy card to do. For me it is because I know what I'm doing. And I've got the stamp sets. Now this is going on dimensionals, which are over here. Good at taking dimensionals off with my left thumb. I think it's because it's too fat to get under the um, paper. And you're going to say, What do you mean, too fat? It's because I've got a big scar on it. I chopped my thumb off when I was three, throwing my glasses away. threw him over the balcony, my mum caught me and I tried to run in the house and caught me thumb in the door and it chopped off but not completely off I didn't learn my lesson though because I did it when I got out of hospital again a few times right then, now let's get back to this Want to know about me and my glasses? We went on a few adventures, I can tell you. Right, we're going to have two down there, and we're going to have three up there. Move that over, move that down, and that one will go up there. Something like that. But first of all, we're going to stick some leaves behind them. And I need three of these. And I need some scissors. And we're going to chop the middle leaf off each of them. And we're going to fold the leaves in half. And these ones, we're going to push them together like that. Put some glue on them. And stick them. Behind a flower. Like that. Do the 
the same here. This, th these little ones, I will put the single leaves on. Right, do the same again. Glue the bottom and glue the leaves on. folded the other ones up. Never mind. They're on the bottom of the leaf, on the stem and pop them on the flower. up before I forget. Right, the one that's going on the bottom will only have one leaf on. And this one will have two leaves on. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue there. Right, so put this one up here. I have to move it along a bit. This one down here. And this one. Here a bit. Glued the wrong end, but never mind. Better. All, right, all that leaves me to do is to put some sequins on. Now, I found these in the drawer where I keep my gems. Don't know where they come from, but there's small and large sequins. She says, oh, that's a small one. Some stars in there as well. Right. I'm going to put one down here with my sticky pencil to pick it up. two up here. Only time I use this pencil is when I'm using sequins. Half the time I forgot I got it. Right. That is my card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. 
all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.